Hi, and welcome to Day to Day with Ray, with me, Ray Ray. Um, I just want to apologize for not really uploading much last week. It was quite a busy and hectic week for me. My son, he had a little cold. Then we had to take him to the doctors because he had an ingrown toenail and it got so infected. Even though I was cleaning it with peroxide, I was making him soak it. It was very painful. I got most of it out, but there was just a little piece that broke off. So we had to take him to the doctors. And you ever have like the helpless mommy moment when like there's nothing you can do? My son, of course, was screaming bloody murder because his foot hurt so bad. And the doctor, of course, had to cut the remaining piece of the nail out. Oh, I felt so bad for my little boy. Um, so... I apologize it is fall okay and my windows are open fall is finally here my favorite season I am enjoying the weather I think it's like 60 something degrees out I have every single window open I got my pumpkin spice stuff in the uh, spritzer air thingies I got my uh, pumpkin pie uh, tart things burning away I've been cleaning the house doing my fall cleaning so yeah, I'm excited. So that reminds me, because this weekend, since it will be October 1st, I promised my son that we will decorate for Halloween this weekend, and I'm so excited. Um, I'll be sure when I do all that, I will post up pictures on my Facebook page, my day-to-day -day Ray Facebook page. And I have so many Halloween-y treats that I want to make so bad. So we'll probably have a lot of stuff coming up this month between the skeleton mold and between the brain mold and then there's like other molds that I found so he's so excited okay but today I wanted to show you a fun thing for you and the kids to do together to decorate so I made these I actually made these before my son was even born I used when I worked at the school we made these every year with the kid I did apples like we did them every season and um, I'm going to show you the pumpkin I don't know how well you can see that. Um, these is just wax paper and tissue paper and you could put glitter on them and you just tape them up in the windows and you can see them both sides. They're gorgeous and like I said, they last forever because I've had these forever in a day, believe me, believe me or not. Like these are probably 10 years old or almost 10 years old. So you can reuse them, whatever, but um, it's just wax paper, tissue paper and glue. And of course glitter because I am the glitter queen but you just tape them up in the windows and they are gorgeous I had this huge um, patio and uh, the on the back patio and I actually did uh, the whole frame um, for Thanksgiving I did pumpkins and leaves and acorns and I think I had a turkey it was it was just so cute and um, I think also what else do I have in here I haven't actually looked at these I'm going I'm not even gonna lie I haven't actually looked at these in forever I just actually went down in my Halloween coat and pulled them out so I have little ghosts little ghosts Ooh, these are my favorite I love the ghosts what else do I have in here actually I swear I haven't looked at these in a long time like I said you just pack them up Oh yeah, I got a different ghost. Hold on. And you can, I mean, you could do, there's another ghost right there. Is that all I have in here? Is just ghosts and pumpkins? I think it is. Ghosts and pumpkins. So, like I said, I have them all in a little Ziploc baggie. And I'm going to show you how to make them. Like I said, this is great fun for um, you and the kids. Um if you want to put it can get messy um me and myself i don't mind glitter in my house but i know a lot of people don't like glitter um so if you want to put like a, a plastic tablecloth down from like the dollar store or something that's fine um but the things you'll need is some uh wax paper um i just printed this out real quick um whatever design you're going to do uh, I just go to Google Images and I just look up a template. This is just a fall leaf, maple leaf template. So I just, just print that out. You're going to need a permanent marker, which you might need to do for the kids. Um, school glue, an old cup that you don't need anymore with just a little, I don't know how well you can see it, but there's just a little smidgen of water in there. Um, I have a big paintbrush. 
um, but any kind of paintbrush will do, and tissue paper. Now, me and myself, because I make these a lot, I keep all my tissue paper. This tote, well, other than my craft plate, is this is all tissue paper. I save it from presents. I go to the dollar store if I see really pretty print. If I see um, just a color that I don't have, I buy it. I put it in my tote. If, if there's templates that I might want to use again, I have some of my templates in here. But yeah, I keep all my tissue paper, like all of it. This has got sparkles already in it. This is like good for Christmas stuff. I mean, seriously, like that's, I mean, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's all right. But yeah, so I have all kinds of tissue paper. You can even use, um, if you wanted to, you can use streamers. But I do uh, feel that they have a tendency to actually, oh, sorry, tendency to actually um, rip and bleed. The bleed, the colors bleed a little bit. Some of the tissue paper does too, but <coughs> it's all whatever. So what you're going to do is, now I started here and I'll move the camera down so you can see is I took my marker and you trace the design on your tissue paper. So, you know, like I said, this is just fun for the whole kids. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, good. Hold on for a second. Boop. Why does it never work? Okay, so I'm actually doing this with one hand, so please bear with. But you just take your marker. It doesn't have to be perfect. If you trust, if you have older kids um, and you trust them with the permanent marker, then that's fine. But I do suggest a Sharpie it would be your best bet. Oop. And also, if you want with the little kids, um, if you want to uh, tape the wax paper down while they do this project that is okay to so there we go I'm just gonna do um, three or just do one just to show you what we're working with here all right so now that we got those traced basically it's pretty simple so you're gonna take some of your um, Elmer's glue um, I guess you could use either one. I've always just used this because this is what we've always had at the school. You know, pour, make sure you have a cup that you're not going to want to use or you have a craft cup because um, you're not going to want to use, you know. Um, just dump a little bit in. Um, and don't put too much water in. Um, you do need water just to kind of thin it out. It makes the um, glue easier to um, spread. So we got like a nice, it's kind of runny. It's perfect for this. So then you're going to pick out your colors, whatever color tissue papers. You, you can pre-cut them if you want. You can let the kids tear them. Sometimes what I would do, because I'm just meticulous about certain things, I would actually cut a measure like of the, um, if the older kids want to do it, you can just like lay a whole piece on top or do two pieces on top. You know, glue them, let them dry, then cut them out so that way it's one solid um, color but if you want like overlapping colors and different effects that's fine so like I said you're gonna put these in the window and you're gonna see through them I actually have in my little bucket here I do have some pieces that are already semi cut out I have little um little pieces and so basically oh here we go let me get some let me get some of these pieces out here I'll be right back Okay, so for right now, I just have some colors here. These are like some really nice, some folly colors. And I'm going to take my paintbrush and put it in the paint, or the glue rather. And then what I usually do is I just put a thin coat. Like I said, this is messy stuff. So if you don't like messes, don't let your kids do this. So you're just gonna paint it. Paint it with the glue. Okay, this is what I usually do first because I just feel like it works. And then you can lay your, now like I said, you could pre-cut it. Um, you can have the kids tear it. Um, do I suggest, um, I always go over the line because please remember you have to cut this out. 
So when you cut this out, you want um, and you, you want it to be nice and solid. And so that way it doesn't uh, come up or come unraveled. Oh, sorry. You're not even seeing what I'm doing. So, yeah. So right now I'm just sticking a couple pieces down. Sorry, I'm only I'm doing this one handed. I'm trying to look both in the camera and on the paper to see what I'm doing. So, and it doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, the kids can just ball it up. Well, not ball it up. You want it to lay flat, but we've had kids that just balled things up and, you know, whatever. So yeah, and also, like I said, when picking designs, just remember to uh, pick designs that are easy to cut because you will have to cut these out. Now, right now, I'm just going over with some more glue just to kind of get these to stick down. That way, when you overlap and overlay, they'll stick. It'll look, be a little better. I'll put some yellow. Oh, is that two pieces? There we go. It's all right. We like yellow. Yellow is a good fall color. Like I said, going outside the line is fine because, like I said, when you cut it, you're going to want it to be nice and uh, solid. Sorry. Oh, I don't want it there. I want it right here on the tip. Oh, well. Okay. Again, looking at the... Looking at the camera and looking at this. Okay. And maybe I'll put another little orange right here. Okay, so I have some of my colors down. Again, with the glue, I like to make sure that they're soaked and they're saturated because then I know that they're not going to come up. That's just me personally. Like I said, sometimes the papers from the kids would be so soaked and so thick, it's ridiculous. I think I might add another little color. I think I'm going to add this color over here. Because this is a nice, pretty fall color. You definitely want to check to make sure that none of the wax paper is showing through too. So, oops. So some of these lighter colors, you can, uh, oh, see, this is why it's messy. It sticks to your fingers. Kind of lay that down. All right, so I'm happy with this one. I'm going to leave that. Now, like I said, another thing that you can do um, if you're particular about the way things have to look, which I am very guilty for, is this. So you got your, your glue on there. And then here's just one piece. It is, I know it's the size of the leaf. Put it down. Oops, sorry, my finger's in the way. Smooth it out. And then go back over with the glue. Make sure, like again, I, like I said, Go and over on the outside because you have to cut this. So you want to make sure it's sticking. Okay. All right. Now, if you want to add glitter, that's fine. You can add it to the top right now while it's still wet. Um, I suggest that these would dry overnight and, um, and make sure no kitties or anything can get to them. So, yeah. So, that's basically it. Easy peasy. You can do any design you want. You can do ghosts. If you have an abundance of white tissue paper, you can do ghosts. You can do it for any single holiday as long as it is an easy pattern that you can cut out. Um, I've did the conversation hearts before. I've done roses um, and all that. If you want like a bolder black line, um, once it dries, you can draw it on the other side. But um, I think that they're really cute. 
Like I said, there's all kinds of ways. And if you are a person, like I said, who I've, I've come across people. Sorry, I just put a little bit more glue on mine. I've come across people who do not like glitter, which I don't know how you can even exist on this earth without liking glitter. Um, <laughs> um, you can put glitter in your glue. And as you paint the glitter, and it won't come off, the glitter will not come off. Um, you put the glitter in your glue mixture, and then as you paint, the glitter will get all in it, and it'll be nice and shiny. But if you're like me, I would just sprinkle glitter on top, and then put a little bit of extra glue on it. Some glitter may still come off, but put maybe another coat of glitter, and you're good to go. So let this dry overnight, and that's pretty much what it would look like after you cut it out. Um and you're good to go and just like I said hang them up in the window I would just use a little bit of scotch tape and they would hang up there forever listen fun for the kids let the kids pick some patterns like they can pick leaves just you know you can give them an option or tell them what they can choose and have them pick out or you know whatever just I mean it's just fun and they can cut them out and they're pretty they really are they're kind of like window um Cause like when the colors come through them, like if you put them in a sun, like a window with like a lot of sun, you can see the colors, like a stain, little stained glass or something. Another fun thing that I found is I will put the links in below. I have to look for it again. Sorry, um, but my son likes to draw, so um, I found this thing. It's called um, Roller Creature because in school they do like this uh, roll, uh, roll and record, and you take a dice and um, you roll it, and then it's like uh, you have to get like a certain number, however many rolls up to the top, and then that number wins. But I found this online too. It's just a little paper dice. You can just whatever with it, and um, so basically whatever number you roll. Um, you do is this the bot the monster? So this is like the body, and then you do roll for their eyes, and then whatever number you roll on, that's the eyes and stuff, and then it goes all the way down to the feet. It's so much fun. So we did we have that one. This will be good for like a Halloween party with kids, or if you're a teacher, you could find this and do like a little activity with the kids, art teacher, something, whatever. It's fun. Um, roll a face is another funny one. Me and my son were um were playing with it. it it was just good fun let me see if I can find some of the pictures that we had um here's one of mine here's one of my monsters I don't know how well you can see it because it's like in pencil oh no, no no Luna don't step in the glue and then um oh no 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 get off the glue again put your stuff up to where the kitties can't get to it um there's also like roll a landscape so where you could draw like a landscape and stuff. There's all kinds of fun roll and record stuff. Um, what else do I have in here? I have like a cupcake roll and draw. Um, oh, here's some more fun ones. These were mine. That was like one of my faces and that's another one of my faces. There's another one. Here's some more. Some more of my monsters. But it's just good fun. We had, me and my son, here's some of my sons. Is this one of my, that's one of my favorite ones that he drew. That's one of my, that's one of my favorites. But these are like some of the ones that we had. So it, it was, it's fun. We, I think we actually played this for two hours, not realizing the time that was, you know, going. But it's, you know, that time of year, starting to get cold, starting to, you know, pretty soon the clocks will be spring forward, falling back. So, um, you know, so just good fun. But yeah, so I'm going to wrap this up. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that, you know, you guys make these. Like I said, it's a lot of fun. Tissue paper is not that expensive. You can go to the dollar store. Like I said, probably if and you're like me, you're a craft hoarder. If you get gift bags with tissue paper, you know, it's it's good. It's it's just a lot of fun for the kids. And then they can hang them up in their rooms or put them in their rent windows or they could put them in, uh, you know, in the windows around the house. Instead of buying window clings, do something, make something that the kids make. Hang, you know, hang them up. So, yeah. All right, guys, I'm going to end this. And remember, be kind because you don't know what kind of battle somebody is fighting. So always be kind and peace, love and happiness. And everybody enjoy your day. Bye.